uh, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Makar Kadash. Uh, and I say Shalom to the elders out there for preaching this word truthfully and sincerely in the names of Yahweh Bashem El Shai Bashem Makar Kadash. And Shalom to the Akim scattered through the four corners of the gold, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely in the names of Yahweh Bashem El Shai Bashem Makar Kadash. I say shalom to you, I came out there, and this is a uh, sit-down lesson that I want to bring out outside uh, on this uh, Saturday. In this news article from MSN USA Today, and this is uh, published by Christian Fernando, uh, USA Today, about three hours ago, and it reads, it says, uh, Ukraine says 23 dead after a Russian missile strike among the deadliest attacks in months. Updates. It says the death toll rose to 23 people Saturday in a missile strike on a apartment building in Ukraine, which I did a sit down lesson on that. I guess this is a update on this story. But continuing on, it says authorities said that two people remain missing after the shelling. It says crews uh, concluded search and rescue operation Saturday at the missile strike in central Ukraine city of Yumen that left 20 people dead, including six children, according to a Ukraine's Minister of International Affairs, the I. Or, uh, Kalimenko, if I pronounce the name right, the children included the three boys and three girls, and he said all 23 bodies have been identified. The two women remain missing, and nine others were injured in the strike, and Kalimenko says, 17 people were rescued after the missile squad he added the building kept collapsing until the rescue effort said Yula Nuskolov a spokesperson for the regional emergency service about 150 officers were involved in a uh, recovery efforts uh, which also included heavy uh, weaponry uh, I mean heavy equipment and volunteers and it says uh, the strike was amongst the deadliest Salakia, uh in Ukraine uh, civilians in months. And you have one person says, I am grateful to the rescue people, utility workers, and dozens of human residents who joined the demand to dismantle of the collapsed building of Kalemisko said in a Facebook statement. The work went very quickly because everyone is in a hurry. We were hoping to find someone alive under the rubble until the last minute so i ain't gonna read all the rest of that but as you see right here uh russia's recent airstrike was the deadliest uh airstrike in months as you see the uh the tensions are continuing to escalate over there with the russian ukraine uh situation you know as and then at the same time you have uh i'm gonna bring that article out as well too uh, Ukraine is uh, ready for a new uh, counter offense against, uh, you know, you, uh, you know, the uh, counter offense against uh, Russia. If I can bring that new news article out as well, too. Wait for it to load up. And this is a news article from out of uh, CNN. A uh, Salakia. It says uh, the APMCNN.com and it reads uh, last updated at 11.39 a.m. Saturday, April 29, 2023 by Tim Lester of CNN and it reports uh, Ukraine could launch its offense against Russia at any moment. Here's what's waiting. It says Ukraine said its preparation for a spring counteroffense are almost complete when it's launched probably in the south it would uh, mark a pivotal moment in the conflict but the Russian has nearly six months to prepare the ground and build the elaborate array of defense breaking through will prevent a huge challenge it says satellite images reviewed by CNN and other news organizations shows the extent of the Russian defense that have been building built up in parts of southern Ukraine 
layers of anti-tank ditches, obstacles, man fields, I mean mine fields and trenches. It says the defense continues for hundreds of miles across the Metering Southern Front where Ukraine forces are expected to concentrate their counteroffense in coming weeks or overcome some obstacle at speed creating moment momentum that causes Russia Russians command and control to melt down so as you see right there you know that's definitely what you call a uh, escalating uh, increasing of uh, wars and rumors of wars right there so the uh, escalation is just going only going to increase now so more than ever with the Russia Ukraine situation and then you've been having Russia doing their latest activities not just only in one part with the Russia Ukraine situation because you because Russia look at that as a special mis uh, special uh, military operation then you know at the same time you have Russia been launching their uh, advanced ICBM missile launch within the past couple of weeks or so you know issuing that warning to the United States so the, the tensions with the Russia Ukraine those are going to constantly consistently and decreasing because you got uh, stirring tensions over there Odessa of Ukraine Kyiv of Ukraine and uh, Bakhmut of, of that region as well too you know and the central part of Ukraine as well too so that shows you the tensions are just going to escalate now so more than ever you know so that's what that's getting to the increasing of the uh, wars and rumors of wars you know nation against nation and kingdom against kingdom that's an increasing prime example you know? now i'm gonna get into that matthews 24 and 6 definitely for sure you know and this is a uh, matthew chapter 24 verse 6 and it reads from the holy scriptures it says um and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars see that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet right so it's not gonna you know because the end is not yet because it's gonna escalate more and more and definitely a prime example you know with the russia ukraine situation you know just like i mentioned those different parts of ukraine you know because most of all of those parts which is uh russia has those territories and the ukraine army is trying to gain those territories back so that's why you send the uh uh, the tensions are raging on it's increasing now so more than ever you know uh, I'm gonna go to the next verse it says uh, Matthew 24 and 7 for a nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places right so you're gonna have the in, uh, continual increasing of the nations rising against another nation we're going to continue to see that uh, occur now so more than ever and that's a prime example once again as i brought out those two news articles as russia launched the deadliest uh airstrikes in recent months and then the second news article you know as russia is uh continually increasingly i mean as uh, ukraine increasingly uh preparing for a counter offense as they waiting on that authorization as they waiting for that order so they can use a uh, military so you know so they can use a uh, military offense against man, against the uh, you know Russian army you know and I'm gonna bring it out again Matthews 24 and 7 for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom right nation against nation kingdom against kingdom that Russia Ukraine situation hey, is gonna increase now so more than ever and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places right so with that hopefully this uh lesson was edifying of those recent two news articles that i just brought out from uh cnn uh reporting that uh ukraine is waiting for the uh they gearing up and preparing for a major counteroffense against uh russia after that airstrike that russia did over there in central uh ukraine that caused the lives of uh, 23 people and i expect the death toll might continue to go up you know so that shows you the uh increasing escalation tensions with the russian ukraine situation is going to escalate now so more than ever you know? so that's what you call uh, a prime example of the increasing of the rising of a nation and rising up against another nation you know so with that hopefully this was edifying i would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to yahweh bashem yahweh shai bashem bukhar kadash 
and uh, Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim uh, scab through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And until next time, I will say Shalom.